How you doing? Welcome back. And as you can see, looks like a scene from uh, Robocop 2, is it? And it gets disassembled. Yeah. Gone to town on this fucker. Ah. Got the headpiece there. The fuck was that? Um. Yeah. Not an easy fix at all. Uh, so this is basically the sh what what's inside the shoulders. What's holding the two arms on? As you can see, it's a piece of shit. That's what it should look like. And then that mechanism pops in and out. And this is the one that's got the trouble. You can see. It's shattered into three pieces and the last owner had tried to glue it back together and it wasn't very good glue or just how where it's positioned in the body you have to take the whole thing apart to actually get to it. Now my gripe with this die cast figure is why the fuck is this plastic <laughs> your whole like that arm is really heavy all the die cast metal and that joint is really stiff there it goes up and down I can't even do it one handed I mean that takes quite a bit of effort to move that up and down um, and I say that just the weight of it you just got up and down movement and then you're like using the, the ball socket to go up and down and then you're pulling it out to, to do this sort of motion you're just putting a lot of strain on a really flimsy joint I mean this bit here, fair enough, plastic, but these bits, these sockets should have been die cast. So Hot Toys taking the piss, taking the piss big time. So basically if you have this problem with your Robocop, um, you're pretty much screwed because I don't think Hot Toys will send out this part might do but um, yeah you've basically got to let's have a look I can show you right so that's sitting on the back of the figure yeah so you've got got these two well, basically you've got the plate sits on there like that take that off you've got one two three four screws there and that takes the back cover off and then you've got to remove the rubber so you've got to remove these rubber side bits so that you can get the actual body apart and then you want to be careful because the wiring for the battery compartment is connected to the front but you don't really need to mess about but you just open it slightly and this can pop out uh, I say it's about eight screws all together. You've got a four for that, and then there's four for something else. Where are they? Oh, you got, you've got four that are on show, and then four that are covered. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, and four that you can see. Yeah, you've got four smaller ones. So that's how you get into it, and then the head, just take the head off, yeah, the collar, all that good shit. But yeah, that's my, that's what I thought I'd show you that. So if this doesn't work, cause I've tried it a few times, and I just think it's pretty, pretty far gone. I've tried using some of this, uh, it's amalgamated tape, rubber tape, 
sort of put tension on it and pull it. So that might work. I'm going to let it dry overnight and see if that works. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try and figure out something else to cut that off and glue a different socket, maybe a rubber socket. Even that is a better option, I think. Um, probably wouldn't be sturdy enough, maybe. Thinking of the head connectors. Might be able to use one of those and stick it on there. But yeah, I just think, fuck's sake. Die cast figure, that bit should have been definitely die cast. So, pretty pissed off with Robocop right now. But I'll get it sorted. And then the weathering pastels will probably come tomorrow, so I'll try that on the. Necker, quarter scale one that I've got, and uh, yeah, fuck Robocop right now, pissed off, take it easy.